Today I'm going to show you how to build a working pool table out of Legos. So this is the actual pool table right here, and then this is kind of what it looks like from all around. And then you can see right here that when the ball goes in here, you can just kind of tilt it to the side a little bit to make it come out. And that's pretty much an overview of the pool table. This is the second piece to this build. You can see that it has the little chalker to get the tips of the poles all ready. And then these are the poles right here. And then there's this handy little storage thing for the pool balls. For this build, you're gonna need four one by two green plate pieces, four one by one round light tan pieces, three one by two flat plate pieces that are green, two one by four green blocks, two one by three light tan blocks, two one by two green blocks, two one by eight flat plate green pieces, two one by four flat plate light tan pieces, two two by two green flat plate pieces, two one by two black flat vent pieces, two white poles, two one by six flat white tan plate pieces, two one by eight flat tan plate pieces, two one by one light tan blocks with a peg on the side, two one by one curve corner pieces that are green, one one by 10 light tan block, one one by eight green block with special markings, one one by two light tan block, one six by 10 light tan plate piece, one light tan two by four plate, one two by two light tan plate with a step and two pegs on the side, one two by two light tan plate, one one by two flat light tan plate, one two by one flat light tan piece with a hook coming out the side, one one by two with curved side with holes in the pegs, one one by one red plate with curved sides, one one by one blue plate with curved sides, one one by one white plate with curved sides, and one one by one green plate with curved sides. Here's the full layout of all the pieces you'll need. This is the first page. You can pause here if you need to see this. And this is the second page. Again, you can pause if you need to see it. Okay, here we go. Let's start the build. Okay, the first step of this build is gonna be taking our four one by one curved light tan pieces and then our six by 10 base here. We're going to attach these on each corner of the piece. And it should look like that. Next, we're going to bring in our two green pieces like this and place them here and here. And then our two green 2x2 two two flat plates and place them on the other side. So it should look like that. Now our black vent pieces are gonna go in the middle next to each other right there. And we have that. Now let's put this to the side for now. Okay, the next part of our build is gonna be taking these six pieces here, our long flat light tan piece here, our two one by three blocks light tan, and then this one by two block, and then these little guys here. Now we're gonna arrange these first by putting these two little pieces on the ends of the one by three light tan blocks and then one by two light tan block in the middle. And then we're just gonna slap this on over all of that. And again, just gonna like this. We're gonna put this to the side. 
The next step is fairly easy, it only requires two pieces. Our two longest hand pieces here, we're just going to place this piece right on top of the 1x10. So it should look like that. Now we're going to leave that out, bring in our other piece we just made, and then that base, we're going to place this right here, and this that we just made right here. So it should look pretty similar to that. Now we're going to put this to the side. The next piece we're going to make is going to look like this. We're going to need two of them. And to do that, we're going to need our two green pieces. One by two green pieces. And then we're going to need our one by six flat white tan piece. Now we're just going to stack these up like that. It's pretty simple. And we put those to the side as well. Next step is to grab two of our 1x4 plate flat pieces that are light tan. And we're going to bring this back in and put one here and the other one here. Now, I hope you remember making these two pieces because now we need them. We're actually only going to use one right now and place it there, but we're going to keep the other one right here next to it. And then we're just going to scoot that all to the side over here. Now we need our green 1x8 block with the special markings on it, our 1x4, our other 1x4, and then our two 1x2 blocks. We're going to start off by putting 1x4 on top, and then that, and then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So it should look like this. We're going to leave that like that. And now we're going to take our two ones like this that are curved. And we're going to place these here and here so that the curve is like that facing the inside. Now that we have that done, we're going to take a 1x2 green flat plate piece and we're going to put them all three right here. Now that that's done, we're going to bring in our other piece here, the base that we've been building on for most of the time. We're going to place it with the bumpy side facing these. I'm going to go ahead and turn this around. And it's not so that it sticks to it, it's just to provide a little extra support so that this does not fall out after the build. If you need to, I just put it in on top, but you can also slide it in from this way. Now to secure even more, we're going to just place this right over that and that's what it should look like now the actual table itself is finished since we finished the table we're going to move on to the accessories to build the handy little stand we're going to take our two by four light tan plate here and we're going to put this odd piece right on top of it that and then we're gonna put this flat piece here right there and it should be able to stand up like that now we can take our two white poles and put them top facing into the holes like that and we're just gonna set to the side now for the handy dandy little ball holder we can take our two by two plate here, white tan, and then our odd little piece that you should have, and then our odd little piece here, we're going to put that in the top corner of this piece here, and then we're going to put the white in the one curved piece, the green, and the red, and the blue, and then we're going to take this piece and put it like that and make sure it is parallel the bottom of that with the top edge of this. Now we're going to bring this piece that we just made back in, put that like that, and then you can just kind of tilt that in. That should hold it. And now we can bring in the table and that completes the build. If you're wanting to put a minifig with this, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is take 
one of the poles, put it in the minifig's arm like that. Just kind of let the minifig's arm go out to the side like that. He can just stand like that. A tip that I forgot to mention during this video is that if you want to get really detailed with your set, you can make a chalker for the poles out of a Technic piece like this. And I recommend blue, but there are also gray ones and tan ones out there. That's all I have for this video, and I really hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.